Enrich your musical dreams with an expert and international music educator, John Chitambo. Welcome to JC Music Education Channel. Music education for all ages and races. Today we are going to cover the following. We're going to cover the open G and we're going to cover the open E. And where do we find that G on the violin? Right the bottom string. And that's the lowest you can play on the violin. That's the lowest sound you can play on the violin. That G. Let's hear how it sounds. That is the lowest you can play. Let's try to play open G. First, let's read it. That's your G. That is your G. That is your G. And you need to see it, put it in your mind, and make sure you don't memorize it. As long as you see those two lines. Now, those two lines are called the leisure lines. Leisure lines. They accommodate notes that come outside the five standard lines and spaces. We call those leisure lines. And I don't want to go too much into theory, but I just want you to understand that that is the G. And where do we find it on the violin? It's right the open string. So let's play that open G. And we are ready. So we know how to hold the violin. We know how to hold the ball. If you want to still, are still struggling holding the, the ball, make sure you revise the second lesson where we covered holding the bow and it's as easy as can be relaxed with the thumb well curled and all so we are using crochets remember crochets are the ta 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 it's one bit so you understand crochets one bit a crochet bit is one bit so let's get ready and your hand well inside positioned with the line you can see it. I'll keep on reminding you on the hand. This hand, because you're playing the G, which is the lowest string, your hand can't be like this. It can't be like this. It has to be slightly up. Okay? So, because you are on the low string, so this has to be up. And then it will keep coming down as we come down to the strings. So, that you need to understand. So, let's ready. One, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, at the end, there are those two dots. Those two dots mean the repeat. So you have to repeat. Let's try one more time. Oh, this time we have to observe the repeat sign. One, two, three, four. That was our G. Our next and final note for this session is your highest string. And this is your E. And your E is also called the Mi. Now this is the highest one. And it's the open E. And it's found right on the that string. You can even hear that's high. This is low. That is high E. So now we know the low G and where it's found on the stuff. And the final string for us to master all the strings. These are open notes. They are all open notes. But as we move on, we'll start discovering new things that we can play the same open notes using fingers. But for now, you need just to play them as open strings as can be. So let's move on to the open E and we're gonna use the same pattern 
so that's your open E. Your arm is no longer gonna be like this. You can't even play, you feel your arm is like this, you can't even play. So your arm is gonna be like this now. Remember to leave some of the space, you can't be completely down like this. So it has to be slightly here. One, two, open E. Now, remember we have repeat signs, so you can repeat, okay? So let's try one more time. Two, remember these two fingers, I forgot to explain in the previous lesson. Holding the, the ball is just by the two fingers. You see, these two fingers. So what that, this finger does is it presses the pressure. It controls how much pressure you need. This, is, this small finger is for balancing your ball. It balances the ball. So this small, the index finger is what basically plays. That's what gives you the sound. If I want to press the string, uh, to press on the pressure, is this one. Press, release. Press, you can hear that I'm biting the string. Bite, bite, you can hear that. If I don't want to bite the string, it will be the... You can hear the difference. So I'm gonna bite and release. So I want for now, press the pressure and take your ball down. So let's try, press. That is your open E. This is how easy certain things can be. Music education for all ages and races. And so we have covered in the previous lesson and today's lesson, we have covered all the open string. We've covered the D and that's your D. We've covered the A and that's where your A is. We have covered the G for today. That is your G. We have also covered the high E. And that is your E on the star. So we're now gonna put the notes together. Make sure you read. Make sure you read. Ready, get ready. Hold your instrument. Remember, there, support it. Your hand, relax. This is what holds your violin. And then we go. Your hand, your arm, slightly up there because we're on the G. When we come to D, we come down a bit. When you come to A, we'll come down, and then E will come down. So your hand is moving. You take note of that. Ready? One, two, ready, G. Fantastic. We can go on and on and on and on. See you boys and girls. I look forward to see you in my next lesson when we start using the fingers, finally. Enrich your musical dreams with an expert and international music educator, John Chitambo. Welcome to JC Music Education Channel. Music education for all ages and races.